What happened to the smartest kid in your class? Smartest guy from my high school became an actual rocket scientist. He went to MIT, works for Apple, and has a very expensive home in California. He also has a wife and four kids and seems to be very happy. I remember he was programming games in high school and was valedictorian. A big nerd who became a wealthy big nerd. Smart kid, the happy ending. He was smart enough to never associate with people from high school, again. He has never attended a reunion and it's been over 30 years. I too have not talked to anyone from school for close to 30 years. And after the 20 years reunion, I will never associate with mine again, either. The one person most likely to have lead the future committed murder-suicide. I've outgrown them now. There were two. They were twins. They're both geneticists now with PhDs, and they work at the same university. That's honestly so cool how they got to stick together all throughout undergrad grad school secure a position at the same institution. Not that surprising, they're conjoined twins. Died from a brain tumor right after he graduated high school. He was dang smart. Could play the piano upside down too. Was he upside down or the piano? Yes. He moved to Poland and became a molecular biologist. Not sure why but I read this as muscular biologist which made me cackle. He gave up brains for gains. Superstar pediatric neurosurgeon. Most confident person I've ever met. Guess you'd have to be, to cut open a little kid's skull and operate on their brain. The anesthetist who did my wife's spinal block during her C-section was super confident. He asked me if I wanted to watch him put the needle in her spine and while he was preparing I said it's a bit nerve-wracking knowing a needle is about to go into her spine. He looked me in the eye, held his hand out between us to show how eerily still it was, and said nothing to worry about. Any other context I'd think him arrogant as duck, but right there I was happy to have a confident bloke doing the job. She worked at Johns Hopkins doing research with psilocybin. I too know a few people who got really into studying psilocybin after high school. I majored in applied recreational neuropharmacology myself. Dropped out of college to marry and support the much younger woman he got pregnant. Now, 30 years later, owns a board game store with a large back room for mini painting and games and plays dad to half the neurodivergent kids in town. Still married to the same woman too. It's not a high-flying life but he makes a difference to so many people. Edit, wow this blew up. To make y'all feel better, he was 23 I think and she was 18. A big age gap when you're young. It was also in the Netherlands, where at least at the time, I've been gone a while, we didn't really care so much as long as it wasn't a 10 year difference or one of them was under 15. Teenagers have sex drives, it happens. This is the most wholesome thing on here. Guy had three scholarship offers, lasted one year in uni before jumping off a building. Feel sorry for him and his family. The smartest one I knew ended up drowning, tragically right after we graduated. I wish I could have seen him make an impact on the world. I knew a guy like that too. His twin brother has been devastated since. So sad. That's weird. Some years ago we had two twin teens get in a terrible car accident speeding and the one died. The other was a mess and then faced charges. It was just awful and I wonder how Hess doing now. My best friend, at the time, we drifted apart and speak only rarely now. He got a PhD. At Harvard, studied science in Antarctica, and now teaches at an Ivy League university. University of Antarctica. Opset Ivy League not Icy League. Their hockey team insane. The smartest kid in my school was really popular, and was one of my closest friends. But when he graduated he left everyone and everything behind including his family. He even changed his name. I found out this little bit of information because a friend went to an academic conference and showed me a group photo and he was in it. I exclaimed, that's my friend Pascal. He kept his first name but his last name was an anagram of his original name. He's in jail for murder. Came as a surprise. I'm gonna need you to elaborate on that. He was a really nice friendly guy. Didn't expect him to ever be violent. Then one day I read he shot his business partner execution style. I'm going to need you to elaborate much more on that, this time in the form of a limited docuseries.
Lamau it's hard to elaborate on something I don't really know all that much about sadly. In school he was known for being super friendly and helpful to all the other students in class. Even held study groups and stuff. A few years later and I read he killed his business partner and that he got connected to a bunch of fraud and embezzlement cases. Bro, the true crime addicts need you. Step up. True crime addicts when violent things happen in someone's real life, tell me every little detail I love this. I'm just scrolling Reddit ATM. Given what the other top comments are saying, you got off easy. He looked all around at the mess and the gloom, the dreadful, deplorable state of his room, the desolate future that waited ahead, and smiled in the silence. At least I ain't dead. There are two. I remember one of them crying when they got an A on a test in like 7th grade. One of them the one who cried, is an executive in a Fortune 500 company. Nothing special but making a lot of money. The other one is a brain surgeon. Sounds like my cousin, she had a complete breakdown from getting an A on a test. But her father was also super physically abusive if she got anything less than 100% even as a young child coloring outside the lines was not allowed. She's now a teacher with an Instagram perfect life, it's far from perfect. I didn't realize that was a thing until in 7th grade when my buddy got a B plus he started hyperventilating and crying because my dad is going to beat my ass as he said. Came to school with black eyes CPS was involved by the end of the day as everyone remembered him freaking out. Disappeared into a shadowy government job. Poof gone edit, while this exploded, almost like the US government headhunts like any other business I guess. Same here. He joined the Navy. Then nothing for years. Then he posted a pic of him on the deck of a ship in what looked like an astronaut level diving rig, then nothing. I'm so intrigued. Next smartest did Marsock. I had such a big crush on her and told her. We dated, she moved across country to study and is now a doctor. So proud of her even though our lives changed paths. Funny enough, the same thing happened to me. Except after I confessed my feelings, she never talked to me again. Damn this thread is ducking depressing. It seems to be a game of professor or suicide. As a gifted student that failed suicide repeatedly before becoming an educator, I resent this. He spent years researching how to cloak himself like the predator from the 1987 film with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He got surprisingly far before he ended up getting a top secret government job. Haven't heard from him since. Maybe Hess a secret agent, maybe he actually became the predator? No one knows. He actually perfected the cloaking tech and now lives with you without you knowing. After never having even smoked a cigarette or drank alcohol in high school, straight as all the way through, he got a full ride to a really good university. As a freshman he dropped acid, walked out in front of a car and was killed. Sort of reminds me of a college friend. He was straight edge, no drugs, alcohol, I think he even stayed away from caffeine. Said addiction ran in his family so it made sense. Decided though that immediately after graduation he wanted a huge party and had his first alcohol. Got insanely trashed but survived for about 20 years. He died of liver failure due to severe alcoholism at the age of 41. I hate that I remember where he was where it started but what did we know? She got a PhD as neuroscience from Stanford and I think she's a professor or associate professor somewhere now. She was possibly the sweetest girl I'd ever met. I was an intelligent underachiever, and ended up in a few app courses with her because our teachers saw my test scores and refused to continue to let me do dipshit things with my dipshit friends, she was always super proud of me when I actually showed up and put some effort in and, lo and behold, got excellent marks. Honestly she really turned around the last two years of HS for me. Also she's wicked hot now. A hot genius. You forgot the part about how she is your wife and everyone clapped. He got sick with a rare stomach disease and isn't doing too good. 